ladies and gentlemen, I take great pleasure in introducing my latest invention, the water topic set. <laughs> When I'm locked up in it, in the regulation manner, after it has been filled with water. Anything go wrong, allowing the water to flow out in order to save my life. Yo, what's up and welcome back. Today we are looking at Houdini's water torture cell. I've been searching for this puzzle for a very long time, finally got my hands on it, and we're gonna attempt to get Houdini uh, out of this cell. But before we do, I'd like to thank our sponsors for today. This, this video is brought to you by Cove Audio's noise canceling wireless Bluetooth headphones. Check these out. Before I give you a whole spiel about why you should pick these up and how much they are and whatnot, I just wanna let you know sincerely, everyone around the office uses them when we're editing, when we're just working on graphics, uh, when I'm on the computer. Everyone in the office has a pair of these. We use them religiously. Uh, they are tried and tested, so take it from me. They're good headphones. So the cool features about these, first of all, they're very comfortable. They have this, this giant foam here, which kind of molds around your ear. And I can barely hear anything right now. I can barely even hear myself. So when you wanna focus on some work and make sure that you don't have any external uh, distractions, you can turn the noise canceling on. So once you've plugged them in, they're good for about 12 hours, which is insane. And you can use them 30 feet away. They feel cool, they sound cool. They're also collapsible, so you can stick them in a little carrying bag. There's also a built-in microphone, so you can take calls on these or Zoom calls or even phone calls, whatever you like. So once again, I use them every day. I truly believe they're good headphones. If you guys wanna check them out, you can use my code below that's coveaudio.com slash ramsey67 to save 67 percent that's a lot of money on these headphones thanks cove so thanks again to cove audio for sponsoring a portion of this video now without any further ado let's help this master illusionist escape the shackles and confides of this water torture here cell. we go the water torture cell i've been looking forward to solving this for a very long time. It's been sitting on my desk, just taunting me. So this little guy represents Houdini, trapped in the torture cell. We gotta free him. We gotta get him out of there. Now, normally, if a magician gets stuck in this situation and it's uh, life-threatening, we just smash the glass. So I brought a hammer. Just kidding, just kidding. We gotta solve this puzzle. Oh, okay. First things first, this comes out. That is cool. What about this? This unscrews. All right. Okie dokie. I uh, forgot the timer, and I don't see it on my desk, so no timer today. What, uh, what are we supposed to do here? Oh. Maybe this goes in all the way? Maybe that does something? I don't know. I don't think it's long enough. Yeah, it's not long enough to reach Houdini's head there. Um, oh, I see. So the idea is to put it between those two. Oh, maybe this. Aha, clever. So I'm thinking if we unscrew this now in that hole in that metallic little cylinder that's in there, um, maybe I can have the bead like land on that and then slowly push it up. Yeah, that kind of seems improbable here. <laughs> There's no banging or anything else uh, required for this, so I will not be smashing it to bits, but it doesn't prevent me from wanting to. Yeah, I don't think that that's... I can't be right. <clears throat> what would you attempt right now knowing you have this information here, what you're looking at. What would you attempt? Let me know in the comments. It's really interesting to read those, by the way, because 
Some of you get it right. Some of you think so far out of the box and some of you are just plain wrong. <laughs> but it's always funny to read the comments. A lot of times looking at videos of people doing things like this, you, you, you find yourself like yelling at the screen and being like, try this, try that. But you, the only reason you're saying that is because you're watching me do the other things before. And who knows, you might've not done those things to get yourself in a position where you think that is the solution. I don't know if that makes sense, but it is definitely much easier because I've watched puzzle solve videos as well. And it's easier to see the solution from another perspective when you're like, you don't know where my eyes looking right now. See, I'm showing you this and you're seeing all of this, whereas I'm looking, you know, maybe here or here. So you're getting a broader picture rather than uh, rather than a specific view. So I might be looking at it like this and to the camera it just looks like I'm just holding it, but I'm actually, you know, focusing on certain things here. Just an interesting perspective is all. Okay, so that's not gonna work. We can get it stuck up there. All right. Spin it, baby. It does nothing, obviously. Mm, no harm in trying. Does this come apart at all? No. I don't even know if the ball would balance on that. So maybe, maybe the idea, oh, okay. So we definitely have to get the ball there so we can push this up. That, that seems like the solution here. Like this has to be pushed up and there has to be the ball between the metal rod here or the screw and the head of Houdini. Do you think I can... I think I can make it so that it falls in between those two and I catch it. How, how great would that be if I could just do that? If I could just like toss it up and catch it. I feel like if I tried this, I'd be here for hours. It'd be one heck of a trick shot though. But I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's worth it. Uh, I wanna try though. Not for lack of trying, but no. Is there anything on the base? Oh, oh baby. Look at this. There, I believe, hold on. There is a magnet. This base here is magnetized. That is, uh, so what if I have to, hold on. Ah, yeah, that's a really bad angle for you guys, unfortunately. Here, I'm gonna move the camera. Hello, <laughs> weird angle. Ah, look at that angle. That is a beautiful angle. So right now, we have this metal bead being suspended by this block here. And I believe, get it for a closer look here. I believe if I can drop it down, I believe if I drop it down, it might fall. Oh, oh, so close. I think I still have to like screw it shut as it falls. So I, if that makes sense. Huh, this is interesting. What if I magnetize this? To, oh, cause this rod here, right? Yeah, there you go. See, it's now it's stuck to that metal part because it's being attracted to the magnet in the base here. How does that help me? I do not yet know. No, it's not gonna help me at all. Oh, it like stalled there for a second. Okay, this might be an actual solution here. Oh, oh, <laughs> it was right there. Is this, did I just hijack a solution or is this the actual one? I feel like this isn't the solution, but uh, it's gonna work for me. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Oh no, so close again. We're gonna get this, 100% we're gonna get this. See, it just like stalls there for a second. This is it. Oh, it was right there. Okay, that's the right amount, I feel like. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> this is so, this is actually kind of fun. 
It keeps stalling. No! <sighs> so close. Yes! Baby, let's go. Now that it is trapped there, we are going to watch Houdini escape. Are you ready? Watch the top here. It actually starts to. Un oh, look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, why is that sticking out? Is there a magnet there too? Oh, magnets for this. Ladies and gentlemen, Houdini. That is really freaking cool, to be honest. I love that so much. Then we reset it. So basically, we get Buddy back in there. We unscrew this all the way. And we put this back on that. Houdini, so there are two magnets here. There are two magnets here, which uh, contact those two magnets right there. Click, screws in there. And that is Houdini's water torture cell. Uh, pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. I like it a lot. The solution's super unique and fun and it's visually appealing. Good puzzle. Well, hot. God, Chris Ramsey, get a haircut. Get a haircut and get a real job. Remember that song? Just me, Boomers. There you have it, that was fun. I thought that was a great puzzle. This is definitely, I mean, a unique solution. That's what I look for in puzzles. Not always the most difficult, not always the strangest, just something unique in the solution process. And this definitely was, barring if that is actually the solution. I don't know. I, it was a solution that I found and it worked for me, so I suppose it is. I know that I had to get the ball between his head and the screw. I just didn't know exactly how to go about that, but I believe that using, you know, using this part here is definitely, um, is definitely right, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if there's another solution, if, you, if something comes to mind. Guys, if you like this video and you love what we do here, let us know by liking this video, subscribing, leave a comment, all that great stuff, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.